Maximum Suffrage 2016. Orlando shooting reactions from the U.S. presidential candidates. Following the worst mass shooting in U.S. history, the two likely presidential candidates have weighed in. Hillary Clinton spoke first in Cleveland, calling the upcoming general election potentially the most consequential of our lifetimes, before jumping into other topics including gun control laws and defense against terrorism. The Orlando terrorist may be dead, but the virus that poisoned his mind remains very much alive. The former Secretary of State also noted that using inflammatory anti-Muslim rhetoric is damaging to the country and hurts the vast majority of Muslims who love freedom and hate terror. She also said that while Americans have their differences about gun laws, they should all be able to agree on one thing. If the FBI is watching you for suspected terrorist links, you shouldn't be able to just go buy a gun with no questions asked. Meanwhile, in Manchester, New Hampshire, her Republican rival commented in stark contrast, saying being too politically correct in times like these has prevented America from dealing with the problem head on. A temporary ban on Muslims immigrating into the country would be his strategy. It will be lifted, this ban, when and as a nation we're in a position to properly and perfectly screen these people coming into our country. They are pouring in and we don't know what we're doing. Trump went on to say he will always defend the Second Amendment and that Clinton's immigration policies would allow for more of the same. You'd be admitting hundreds of thousands of refugees from the Middle East with no system to vet them or to, or to prevent the radicalization of the children and their children. Not only their children, by the way, they're trying to take over our children and convince them how wonderful ISIS is and how wonderful Islam is, and we don't know what's happening. As the candidates move forward in their respective campaigns and address the multitude of angles that are branching off of this tragedy, the world continues to mourn and search for answers.